Hey everyone, I'm going to showcase a competitive build for the upcoming competition happening on October 3rd, 2023. This design does sushi belts, which gives a good amount of stars per hour. I'm going to talk a little bit about the competition coming up, then I'll show you how well this design is performing, show you what every building is making, and then show you what the auto sell and visualizer looks like. So this next competition is going to be an anything goes meta. Once again, that means that nothing is going to be boosted in cash or points. However, there were some core changes to the points given by some items. In the previous competition, Salmon Nigiri was the way to go because of the amount of points that were given for that item, but the amount of points given to Salmon Nigiri have been reduced by about 40%, and the points have been changed for some other items such as sushi boats, which have gone down by about 10%, and bicycles, which have gone up by about 10%. You can see the exact values on the Town Star playbook. You can find a link to that in the description of the video. The upcoming competition also does not have an NFT reward, but it will have gala rewards for the top 1200. Normally, they have been doing competitions where you receive both gala and an NFT reward, but these competitions, well, these anything goes competitions, the one that's coming up and the one that already happened the previous week weren't exactly planned. The only reason we're having them is so they can have additional time to work on the new game mode and the rebranding and fixing issues that have arised with the recent updates so that's the reason we are having these competitions and they haven't actually planned out an nft reward which is why there is no nft reward for these competitions so i wanted to make that clear for this anything goes competition that's coming up there will not be an nft reward but there will still be gala rewards for the top 1200 and once again all that information is also on the town star playbook on the competition list page i have all the rewards laid out and the usd equivalent for the gala that you can receive with that out of the way let me show you how well this build is performing so this one is doing about 110 sushi boats per hour at the moment but it could actually do up to 115 sushi boats per hour i'm going to explain why it's not doing 115 per hour anymore because for the first hour it was doing it but i did realize there is one more issue i believe that i just didn't have time to address and i will scroll through the production monitor just so you can see the production rates of everything now keep in mind that this sushi boat design is using both wild net fishing and fishing platforms the rates for some items like the seaweed fish chum and salmon might not be exactly what you would get from using just wild net or from just using fishing platforms actually salmon would be the same but the seaweed and the fish chum would be different this one is doing about 110 sushi boats per hour like i said but the first hour i was testing it it was doing 115 now the reason for that i believe is because there needs to be a bit more aquaculturist or a bit less seaweed and i'm going to talk more about that later on when i get to the suggestions in the end for now i'm going to go straight into what every building is making i'll start with the crops first so there are 14 rice fields although one is on the yellow craft timer and it's actually optional you don't have to have this one you could have a tree farm or something else instead on the visualizer there is a tree farm in this spot right here there are two sugar cane fields Field. both of them are on the yellow craft timer because they either have one salty or one shade 14 seaweed farms all of them are on a green craft timer because they are right next to the ocean so they have the three passive salty 10 shrimp farms all of them are on a green craft timer there are three wasabi farms all of them are also on a green craft timer because they have at least three shade they don't care about the dirty they only care about the shade the wasabi does want to have shade and there are two worm farms now over here we have some more farms these are fish farms a total of eight of them four of them are making row and four of them are making eel there are 20 mixing tents in total Ten of them are making white rice i'm going to show you exactly which ones are making white rice right here and then there's going to be six making fish chum and there's going to be four of them making food mix there are two soft 
sauce facilities making rice vinegar 11 sushi restaurants in total four of them are making salmon nigiri four of them are making eel nigiri and three of them are making sushi boats there are four fishing platforms and six wild net fishing so i am using a combination of both of them it is set up so that the fishermen prefer to go to the wild net fishing spots first before they go for the fishing platforms since the wild net fishing spots take only one fish chum instead of two but they take longer to actually craft the salmon there are three nuclear power plants this is providing all of the passive energy required for the fishing platforms which requires six energy and for wild net fishing which requires three energy for the workers there are a total of seven tractors you want to make sure you have probably one more tractor than you need in order to actually collect all of the rice husk wasabi and the worms if the farmers are not picking up the worms or the wasabi then you do not have enough trackers or farmers there is one lumberjack although that's optional you don't actually need trees in the end you just need the wood to actually build everything so in the very end you could just remove the lumberjack i have a builder house once again optional you don't need it in the end there are 17 aquacultures there are 18 seaweed farmers and there are seven fish fishermen houses for the storage there are three silos three storehouses three seafood warehouses and one fuel storage and one lumber yard you don't actually need the lumber yard in the end and there's a standard passive gasoline setup with two water pumps two power plants the refinery in between them crafting gasoline and the refinery to the side crafting petroleum there is an oil seat providing passive crude oil for the refinery crafting petroleum as well as both of the power plants so you shouldn't have any issues collecting energy since you're able to collect energies right off the bat from the power plants and eventually you'll also be able to collect energy from the nuclear power once you have built those there is also a lumber mill here to craft any lumber that you might need to make the buildings but in the very end you don't actually need that lumber mill so it could be replaced for something else and for the trades there are two trade depot if you happen to have an express depot and NFT that would obviously take care of these two spots but even so depending on how balanced you get this you may still want to consider a second trade depot because the amount of seaweed that this build makes it's almost always selling that excess seaweed you want to have everything on auto sell with the exception of gasoline wood oak wood lumber and energy you don't have to auto sell those i have the items being sold at different numbers most of them are at 10 some of them are at 12 such as for wasabi shrimp salmon roe fish chum eel sugar cane and some of them are at 20 such as for rice husk and seaweed here's what the build looks like on the visualizer total cost is about 61.6 million wages are 47,190 per minute but you will have no issue with the wages once you are selling sushi boats you can find the file for this on my discord server and an invite link is in the description of the video as usual no nfts are required in order to get to this production rate now I did want to talk about a couple of things that could improve this design. First of all, it was doing 115 per hour the first hour I was testing it, but it went down to 110 per hour. So I'm just going to say it's doing 110 per hour. If I worked on this more, I probably could have gotten it higher. It was actually doing 100 per hour before the final tweaks that I made, but I just ran out of time to continue to try to tweak this even further. Now I'm going to try to give you some advice on what I would do to improve this further if you really want to i mentioned something about the silos here there is they're getting full too often so as you can see they're almost all full this is overproducing seaweed and i believe it's actually overproducing husk rice which is why you don't actually need this one you could remove this you need to auto sell more often there's only two trade depot in this and trade times a minute so either have another trade depot or even lower the amount that you auto sell seaweed and husk rice to maybe 12 or 15 since i have it at 20 or balance it better so you're actually using more of that seaweed or more of the husk rice all of those things could help now what i would do to probably increase the rate back to 115 like it was doing a little while ago is make another aquaculturist house maybe two of them that way they can use up more of the seaweed and actually make more eel 
make more row and then make more eel i do already have the amount of worms for 123 so it technically could be possible to make 123 additionally if you wanted to make more worms you could get rid of this put down a worm farm i did have that originally and it was making like 200 worms per hour which is actually using up more husk rice than you needed to but th that's just an option you could do really you could do a couple different things with this tile since you don't need that rice field and there are buildings here you don't need in the end you don't need the lumberjack house you could replace it for another aquaculturist house once you have the materials right here in this lumber yard and you could replace this builder house too even the warehouse but you would have to put down temporary buildings to actually harbor these uh, resources and one way you could do that is with these wasabi farms right here these wasabi farms they require for water to grow as well as to actually build so what you could do is remove them place down a woodshed a warehouse a builder all temporarily and whenever you're ready to actually place them back then you would just place them back here since they only need four water and there is four water here they will just grow back easily as that so you could easily replace these you could do something similar with the rice fields but all these rice fields need eight water to grow but 10 water to build so if you were to replace these you would have to once again build a well somewhere or a wind pump and have your builders fetch water to the rice fields just to be able to construct them again that's why i don't add, that's why i don't advise you removing these just to put something temporarily you could just do it with the wasabi farms and yeah replace these buildings you don't need in the end you don't need the lumber mill in the end either so you could also put an aquaculturist house here and yeah i think just putting down those aquaculturist houses will help balance this build better and it should increase the yield back to 115 it should get you 115 sushi boats so that is one way you could improve it right there another thing is you could possibly make this build with two nukes i thought about it but i didn't test it and you would have to actually move the nukes to a different setup i believe you would need one nuke here and one nuke here you would have to get away with three fishing platforms so you would remove this fishing platform either remove this wild net fishing or keep this one make another one and then craft energy have a warehouse nearby and your fisherman can just take energy to two of these and everything else will have passive energy so yes you could tweak this design to work with two nukes i think it would work i don't know if you would get the same production rates maybe you might get a little lower but if you don't want to build three nukes you just want to build two nukes you might be able to do that i just wanted to point that out but yeah that's everything i have for this build showcase hopefully this was able to help you out for the upcoming competition if you found this helpful or informative please do leave a like leave a comment if you have any questions also let me know in the comments if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And if you want to help support the channel, you can check out the links in the description of the video. If you're ever planning to buy something from the Gala Games website, I do have affiliate links and it really helps me support me. So thank you so much. And as always, I appreciate your support and thank you for watching.